When temperatures drop and the days get shorter, many animals wait out winter by hibernating or migrating to warmer climates. But honeybees do something a little different to stay cozy. They hug. Honeybees start preparing for winter in late summer and fall. Female worker bees stockpile enough honey to keep the hive fed through spring, while also raising their winter replacements. These winter bees have fatter abdomens compared to summer bees, as well as a longer lifespan. Summer bees typically live just four to six weeks, while the winter bees can live four to eight months. As the temperatures get colder and the hive population shifts to winter bees, workers kick the male drones out of the hive, saving the remaining food for the new winter bees and, most importantly, the queen. Once the cold hits, winter bees have one very important job. Keep the queen warm and fed. They do this by forming a winter cluster, which is a very big and very warm group hug. Bees gather around the queen, fluttering and shivering to generate heat. With the whole colony in on this hug, the queen can get quite toasty. While the outside of the cluster might be 50 degrees Fahrenheit, the center can reach a scorching 90 degrees. All that fluttering and shivering is work, and work requires food. On warmer days, the hungry honeybee cluster moves to the hive to new stores of honey. Depending on the conditions, a colony can consume more than 80 pounds of honey before spring. So beekeepers make sure to leave some behind in the fall. Not all bees hug their way through the cold. Honeybees in warmer climates may not need these clusters. And queen bumblebees are often the only bumblebee who survives through the winter, hibernating alone in a safe, warm nesting spot. Right before spring comes around, the honeybee colony returns to producing summer worker bees. When temperatures rise, they'll be ready to collect the pollen and nectar they need for the next winter. For Scientific American, I'm Deboki Chakravarti.